Hello there, this is Rom Wills coming back at you with yet another podcast. Thorough men only deal with quality women. Yeah, and I said I was going to start going really old school, so you know I ain't use the term alpha male. Right, because that's about the most nebulous term out there now, right? But anyway, what I'm calling a thorough man, right? A thorough man is just that dude who's hitting on all cylinders, right? That dude that dude is going to have some physical looks, right? He's going to have some physical looks. He's going to have uh, that muscular body, good height on him, right? Just a, that physical thing. But he's also going to be that cat who's going to make some money, right? Going to have maybe some status and, um, quite frankly, have a little bit of thug in him. Right now, some people might say, "Oh man, Rom, that's impossible. Ain't nobody got it. like nah, nah. They exist. They exist." Now, as with somebody like that, you're not going to run into them every day. And then, even then, if you think about it, if that's somebody with some money and some status, first of all, you got to be in certain economic places to even meet that person, right? You know. But these these are the cats. These 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 are the cats. Got it like that. I've known them. I've known them. Known. Uh, I ain't gonna say. I've known about how many in life. I say fifteen to twenty. Fifteen to twenty dudes who just got it like that, right? Now, the popular wisdom is that type of cat. If he got it going like that, he'll have a harem. And all he's doing is just fucking all day. <laughs> you know, seriously, like, usually this is guys on the outside who, one, imagine that would be the case because they know that's what they would do if they were in that position. And two, quite frankly, on the outside of it because, well, they ain't around those cats, right? But this is one thing I noticed about the cats I knew who were on that level, right? And... This is the one thing I've noticed. They don't deal with a whole lot of women. They don't. Now, somebody would say, why wouldn't they do that or something? Because what these cats do, they just get the top women. That's it. That's it. Now, if you want to be honest, because look, let's be honest. You got cats out here talking about all they doing is messing with dimes and all of that. And they got had two or three hundred women. And they say that shit. It is like, of course, they only say that shit like in a comment or something like that. But trust me, if I'm in your presence for an hour, I'm going to tell you if you're lying or not. I'm going to tell you because if a dude, look, and I'm, I said this before in something. This is how you know a dude... Is really getting that many women, right? Put them in any, just put them any place where there's some women at, and watch how the women respond to them. That's how you know you can go to a grocery store, put that dude, have him walk around a grocery store, see how many women checking him out or something. Because if you're dealing with that many women, right? You're dealing with that many women, a significant portion of them have to throw it at you. Because if you're chasing the women, that's taking up all your time. That, that is taking up all your time, right? Because, you know, you ain't going to just run into some woman and she just sleep with you on the spot. You're going to have to put in some work. I don't care who you are. You're going to have to talk to her or something. Now, you might be able to get some of them real quick, but most of them, even if they want to get with you because they don't want to look like a hoe, they're going to make you do a little bit, right? They already decided they're going to fuck you, but they still going to make you do a little bit. Right, some of them, I don't care who you are. Like I said, sometimes you can do it like that. But that's how you know. But see, that takes up time. See, here's the thing, though. Here's the thing. In order to deal with that many women, you can't, unless your business is dealing with that many women, like you're a gigolo or you're a dancer or something like that, you still got to spend time on your job and your vocation. And if you're talking a lot of money, you ain't working a nine to five. You working, you working a whole lot more. You putting in a lot of hours in. Unless you just in some profession where you can just make money like that, and those are rare. So you think about it, right? You in a business, you you ain't putting in 40 a week, you putting in 60 a week. If you got business or you uh, vocation, anything, you putting in at least 60 a week, right? You put in a lot of hours. So you don't have time for all of that. You you don't have time for all of that. Also, too. 
Contrary to popular belief, there ain't that many dimes. Now, I know some people might think, oh, these women are beautiful. Nah, most of those women, even if you go to a club, you go to the hottest club in whatever city you in, you see all these beautiful women. And I guarantee it's a combination of the alcohol you just drank trying to get some liquid courage. And the fact these women are adjustables. Like if you saw these women any place outside of that venue, you probably wouldn't give them the time of day. And I've you've seen plenty of women like that. You might see them on the street or something. And, you know, they got their eyeglasses on. They don't got their freaky stuff on. But if you see them just, you know. You see them in their work uniforms or something like that. You ain't thinking anything of them. Right? So they ain't that many. Right? So the thorough man, the thorough man, the one who hitting on all cylinders, you know, he, you know, he ain't actually attracting the women, you know, got a little bit of thug in him. And, you know, anybody who got a problem with that, it was like, nah, <laughs> trust me. Play some ball with these cats or something like that. They got some aggressiveness. And you got you got to have a little bit of aggressiveness when you're dealing with some women, right? You don't have to be a criminal, but you, you got you to have that capacity to go there, trust me, right? You got to have that capacity to lay out a body or a woman ain't going to truly feel comfortable around you, right? Or safe with you. But, so if that guy got it, what they will tend to do is just get the best women. Even if they ain't necessarily monogamous, they just going to mess with the best women, but they ain't going to mess with every woman, right? Because think about it, right? I want y'all to think about something. When you, when really, when you talk about dudes just knocking down women like crazy, right? When I say like crazy, like all the time, right? Trust me, they dealing with some ducks. Because like I said, it ain't always easy. So they got to get the easiest woman. Now, if a woman look like something, she ain't going to make it that easy for you, right? But that's the perspective but the thorough man because he's got his see he ain't totally focused on women see that's one big thing so he get that fine woman and see the thing with the fine woman no matter how fine she is she know what she got so she gonna work a bit harder to keep the dude so she gonna dissuade him from wanting to just go chase now like i said it ain't a question it ain't saying the dude is necessarily monogamous Cause I, I've known like one of those dudes I say is just in that category. That dude wasn't necessarily monogamous, but he just kept he just kept him fine. He ain't mess with anything below like a nine. He ain't mess with anything below a nine. But you ain't gonna have that many nines out there. Cause let's be real, how often are y'all gonna see that? How seriously? How often are you really going to see that? You know. There's a reason why, like on Instagram, if you really think about it, you if you got every single woman on there that got millions of followers, every single one, right, that got millions of followers, guys in there, it's not going to amount to that much. And even if you look at, like, sex workers or strippers, stuff like that, most of them just got decent bodies and they know how to, they know how to seduce you. But if you just look at them from a pure physical thing, a lot of them butterfaces. So they not going. They ain't going to be all that. So ain't it ain't that many nines out there, nines and tens out there. It's not that many. So that dude, you know what? First and first of all, that dude he going he going to fuck with the best. He going to fuck with the best because he got enough sense to. He knows. Hey, look, I can't be chasing all these women all around. In fact, that's an issue with some dudes now, who make a lot of money, got it going on, and they'll still go to a matchmaker because they don't have time. <laughs> they don't have time to hit the club scene or something. They want to cut to the chase. So when they find that woman who's kind of cool like that, they ain't inclined. Like I said, they might they might get a mistress or something on the side. But they only going to deal with quality women, and it ain't that many quality women. I'm, I'm sorry to say, I know I got a lot of women who follow this. And when I say, look, let me, let me define quality. Let me define quality, at least in terms of what these thorough men is. It ain't just your personality, but it's also going to be your look. And in fact, a truly quality woman is going to try to look her best. But if these guys, if you're a man and you got all this stuff going on, all these women showing interest, you're going to pick the best ones. You know, you ain't going to pick the, um, and it's going to be the best ones, personality and physically. 
You know, if you got an attitude or something or you want to boss him around, he can cut you. Right. Why should he take that for even one second? Especially if he got women lined up trying to get at him. Nah. And in the beauty of the women being lined up, he don't have to engage them at all. Because usually they're going to be trying to get at him. He don't have to engage them. He don't have to do anything. But they there. But he don't necessarily indulge. He get the fine woman, get the woman who's just what he like, might get might get the side piece that's just what he like, and then he's going to go from there. That's it. Boom. So understand that. And see, this is understanding for any fellas out there, right? You building up. You ain't building up to uh, uh, build up your dick count. You know, you ain't, you ain't trying to put more, you know, put more notches on. That's kind of backwards. You building up so you can get the more quality women. So a dude who's truly at the top, he ain't going to get as many women during the year. And in fact, a lot of true players that get to that point, they'll, they'll you know, when they're young, they'll mess with about 30, 40 a, a year or something. Then as they get older, it gets lo- the number gets lower and lower. Because the one, they know what they want and they get more quality. And if they got any sense, they focus on building their paper up. That's it, seriously. And even a lot what I'm telling, like the game I'm giving, I'm not giving game or, I say I wasn't going to use that term, avoid using that term. The advice I'm giving is really not to make you a player. Now, you can use it to be a player. That's on you. The advice I'm giving you is to find the quality women that fit you. That's it. Or to really to live any lifestyle you want. What you do with the information I give you is up to you. Because every dude ain't trying to be a player. Most dudes just want to find a quality woman that they, you know what, they have a mental attraction for and they got a physical attraction for. And they should have a value attraction for them too. You know, that that's it. You just want the options. I'm just telling I'm just giving you information to get the options. Right. Giving you advice on how to get the options, because once you got the options, trust me, you, you the world is yours. So anyway, that's it for now. I'll get back with y'all later. Peace and blessings.